Hey, I know I'm late to the Space Station 13 remake party, but don't worry, I brought narration and some of the awful images that I see at night. For us beyond heads, Unity Station is like a remote vacation spot where everything looks nicer than what you're used to, but you get the feeling that you'd be lonely and bored if you stayed here. Behind the scenes, Unity Engine is a pricey surrogate, while Beyond's Dream Maker is a low-key slut that has produced many offsprings. Everybody wants to be Space Station 13, yet they can't capture the entire community. Similar to my dilemma with the views disparity between SS13 content and those checkmarked other. Truth be told, building a loyal fan base is something that can take years, so I don't think a remake can outperform Beyond's favorite child anytime soon, but you never know what might happen in the future. So, uh, do you guys think everything can be added from the original game? Until further notice, jobs have a percentage on their playability. I truly wonder how they measure this number. You got scientists at 5%, meaning all you can do currently is take off your lab coat, while assistant is 95%, which means the only thing you're missing there is the ability to break glass bottles. I noticed some other minor gameplay differences. For example, I punched myself into critical condition because I tried opening a box with harm intent. While the OG code knows when you reach into your bag in a red state, your intent is to do harm unto others, not yourself. Another insignificant gripe is that fuel tanks don't explode when shot. At least the welder still ignites the fun. Damn, no limb loss either? An additional disappointing factor is the lack of shuttle crashes. After watching Remy's video, I was hoping to see it for myself, but I do not know if it's still even possible since me and my team are not certified pilots. <laughs> oh, God, are you watching oh. this, Oh, yeah, I'm seeing this. What <laughs> in the fuck? Oh, Christ. Shit. Alright, I'm almost done bitching. My last complaint is that I don't like the warp map. It's a cool idea with an annoying layout. Maybe I'm just being ignorant because I hate maps that I'm unfamiliar with. I need to know where I'm going from memory. I don't need no damn GPS, you hear me? I'll tell you where we are. Well, I've only played on the Communist Potato server, a heavy roleplay congregation in Europe. Time zones matter a lot. Good luck finding a 3 a.m. drive through around here. The player base isn't evenly distributed across the servers, similar to Beyond. Though Unity Station hasn't been around long enough to have venture capitalist furries and franchise remakes scoop up the top spots. Something else you must comprehend before we get started is that the shortcut image is a deep reference to the captain's dog, Ethan. Now that we know each other on a personal level, I can show you my true form. My name is Ronald Easter, the last remaining Afro Simpson in space. I chose to be the captain a lot because that's the only time I felt involved in the tiny action. It sure did take me a while to play a somewhat interesting round that had some story to it. Though when I looked over at my OBS screen, I realized that I wasn't recording. Now filled with anger, it would have been cool if I punched my monitor into a wristwatch. But I'm truly not on that level of power, so all I did was yell, FUCK. The least I can do is tell the story and illustrate it. Our main character, Captain Easter, had an alien problem, and a man in a red suit had the solution. A contractor provide guns to the station. The captain signed the deal without hesitation. The only clause was he had to give the nuke disc to the syndicate. The nuke operatives politely helped us kill the aliens. They were even courteous enough to let us leave on the emergency shuttle alive, all in exchange for a meager station explosion. Nothing too eventful there when compared to even lackluster Space Station 13 rounds. However, that was my most dense experience until I captained the Euro Station. This place felt like it had the heart of at least a 30 player server, but it was a single digit gathering. I just noticed that your character and settings carry over from server to server, don't lose that unity. Our story begins in the captain's office with a man who's convinced himself he's in charge. Me, Ronald Easter. I started my tyrannical rule with a morning announcement. Be nice to each other, you euros. Following that, something in OOC caught my eyes. If I'm traitor, am I allowed to space my target? It's just something I never understood if I'm allowed to. Can anyone answer that? Standard SS-13 rules. Antac can kill their target any way they need. Caveat, don't be a tool. Andy Cohort sneezes. What? TF is that supposed to mean? Sup, Cap? I need healing. I almost spaced myself. You dumbass. I ain't no medic. Hmm, fuck you, Ronald. I had to punch him for that disrespect. I see, Dr. Boatman, and I know you're just a fake wannabe bitch. I can't believe he thinks I'm a doctor. Still, he's talking mad shit. You only act like him. Do you want to die? 
No! And you continue to harass me in OC. If only Botman played on these servers. Sad face! You're doing a great job being him, though. Very accurate. Thanks, I am Botman. The battle with the European Goblin would have to be postponed until I conquer whatever is in this gateway. Well, first I needed a hard suit and oxygen tank because portal reality is a seductive smoke ready to take your breath away. Prepared for these conditions, I can now walk the streets of this roofless biodome. While on the tiled path, my head switched to a design that matched the rest of me thanks to this giver of helmets. Ahead lied the squirrels of this twisted world. Since they were snakes, I made sure that bullets accompanied them on their way out. This dimension also has a church with an active preacher, though it's really just a starving garden monster that I would rather eat than preach. This conflict against nature ended with a pile of leaves covering a puddle of broccoli water. Inside the temple, I discovered a gold clown statue that honks when provoked. More importantly, I lived the wet dream of a churchgoer when I found God wandering around the pews. The Lord was then dragged out of his lair by this other spaceman. Back on the station, I made an announcement that I'll let the Microsoft Sam baby say. We found God in the gateway. Come meet him at the bar. He is now at the Houston. At the bar, I took one sip of alcohol and found out that it gives you Hotline Miami vision. I was already prone to violence before my peers brought it out of me. Together we attacked this god that appeared as if he could hold the weight and handle the heat of the sun, yet our mortal weapons put an end to his movement. Then the godless people held a funeral. While everyone was gathered in mass, I took the opportunity to test the physics by shooting a window. I don't know if this game changer was a party foul or a score amongst my crew. I cared dearly about my small team. Except for this prick from earlier that called me Botman. I had to eliminate him. On the shuttle, I more than likely would have killed my enemy of the round if it wasn't for security intervening to give me that cuff to a chair hostage treatment. That's all the evidence I have against Unity Station. I'll probably be back in a year or so to check out the progress made. Now I'm gonna go play around with Space Station 13 to feel normal again. Yeah, everything is small and ugly, but the biggest drawback is having to return to playing like this as opposed to a gamer posture aligned in the center. The scoliosis inducing head tilt is worth the free CIA training you'll receive from multiple rounds of this abandoned secret government program. Nevertheless, I think we can all agree that Beyond's white box of eye impelment is a waste of space. Anyways, I'll send you packing with a round of that homegrown SS-13. Ronald Easter here again. This go around, I'm taking on the role of detective on Fulp Station. As most of you know, forensic work takes far too long for these short round variations, which means that I'm just another security officer, only I don't have to wear pajamas with a vest, and I get a real gun. I begin with trying to seduce the head of personnel. So uh, what kind of access you handing out, big boy? All or armory? Without any reason, I can't give you anything. The clown showed up to be annoying at the perfect time. I need to shoot the clown, that's my reason. You can do it. I uh, sure did, gave him five bullets to the head. Can I pepper th 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 the guy? <laughs> On Fulp, clowns run in packs. I could have easily been mauled by an entire circus. Instead, one sad clown showed up. The appropriately dressed moth dragged his buddy through the halls while taking breaks to give him CPR. I chose to grab my victim and take him to med bay because this other fool was gonna let him bleed out. Honestly, shooting that clown was a joke. I wasn't actually trying to kill him. He just took it the wrong way. After my head splitting routine, I still had one remaining bullet in the chamber. It had to go. Fully reloaded and ready for action, the clown with good timing approached me. I was glad to see him alive. You! Hulk! This isn't over! Just let it go. The war has just begun! The atomic bomb in gang warfare was dropped when I was shoved down and stripped of my shoes. I retaliated to the disrespect with the signature bottle smash followed by running away. Speaking of breaking glass, I felt the urge to do so like never before due to Unity Station depriving me. My break was over when someone told me that the suspicious chaplain may have been a changeling. You see I'm pro witch hunt, meaning I'm all for killing this accused man to see if he'll revive himself or not. Of course a machine cares more about human life than I do. The robot wanted to take the alleged link to medbay for testing until I convinced the laser equipped fire hydrant that an arm blade was enough evidence to proceed with execution. My smoking gun in the case may have been the chaplain's starter weapon, a dark blessing, but I guess it's better to be sage than retarded. Crime was rampant on this station. Why, I spotted the captain hauling an inflatable alien queen that he stole off a sci-fi themed car lot. 
Once that office door shuts, most of you probably think he's going to convert that blow up advertisement into a sex toy. And if it were up to me, you'd be right. Now, if you're looking to prevent more crimes than signs, then you're willing to do whatever it takes. So when a man in a lab coat holding a syringe approaches you and asks if you want to be the Hulk, you better put on those little purple shorts and bend over for that needle. Instantly, I felt green, cured of all my aches and pains. Plus, I no longer have a problem getting out of bed in the morning. Oh, and I can smash everything. In a fit of rage, I broke into the bridge. Inside, the captain was playing with wormholes. Next, I went into the captain's office, punched his wife, stole his gun, and slayed his pet. All while Borg watched. My rampage ended when this layer of soda started killing my gains. I fled through the walls and a security Borg followed. In the storage room, we duked it out and I lost. Upon gaining consciousness, I realized that I had sweated all of the Hulk juice out of my body. Something else I noticed was that my gun had been stolen and unloaded. My obsessive ass went to go put the bullets back in the speed loader when a killer tomato attacked me. At least I still had the captain's old but gold laser blaster. Human synthesizing plants became the G store in this alphabet soup of subplots we call a typical shift. My swing on vines was then interrupted by the sound that used to make my chest tighten. Now I smack my chubby pecs and get excited when I hear it. Why did you break into the bridge as a detective Hulk and even killed Renault, which is an antag theft goal? Hulk smash? I know you are likely making a video out of this, but this isn't a reason to break the server rules. You can do silly things as other station jobs, but you shouldn't act like an antagonist while play security. Sorry, I uh, thought Hulks could break shit. Didn't know. That admin is alright. I can't be mad at him for taking his internship seriously. Also let this be a lesson to you sweaty asses. Apologies go a long way, though niche name recognition will get you to the moon. Later on, while waiting for the emergency shuttle to arrive, some impatient motherfucker hung himself in order to avoid riding the pre-9-11 flight. In the seat of the moment, I got stung by the chaplain, which gave me a fake arm blade. Then he released a phony scream out of his above head lying mouth. Because if you're actually yelling in horror, you're too terrified to type. To return the finger point in favor, I tried blaming the botanist's suicide on the chap, causing the guilty cyberbully to run away. Space became his Mexico. Live through a shuttle window, I saw the chaplain's dead body being held by a floater. Then the chaplain rose from the dead as an entrance was made for him by vandals. When that immortal demon stepped aboard, I blasted him. Obviously, he survived the lasers to live the arrested life. Meanwhile, another changeling stung me with a blind sting. I used shoe braille to locate the trail that leads to the exit into space. Since I don't fuck with Central Command, I'd rather die. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that half potential and half good mixture you got there. Hello, I am Tex of the Black Pants Legion. This is my British aristocrat voice. You should upvote and subscribe to Mr. Boat Bomber and ring that bell. Further, you should definitely give him money on Patreon. He will spend it on things like marijuana and bourbon. Cheers. Peace to all the gods and the earth, bro, this bond. <laughs>